And these two weeks of flooding, the Deer Creek has been an absolute pest to homeowners as well as businesses. This new round of rain really has people on alert all along Manchester Road. Rock Hill has seen much of the flooding from Deer Creek. Tonight, our Gabrielle Vidal sits down with the train wreck saloon on Manchester. It's repeatedly flooded. They're fed up and afraid they may be in for another brush with Deer Creek. I wish I had a better plan than I do, but I'm just I'm, right now it's a waiting game. In Rock Hill, long standing businesses like Trainwreck Saloon brace for another round of potential flooding. I'm too old for this. That's what I thought. I am too old for this. Owner and operator George Hansford says just two weeks ago, this basement was completely underwater as rain and floodwaters from Deer Creek rushed into the restaurant. It filled the basement six feet all the way to the bottom of this floor. And it was another six inches in here. We had probably 20 kegs of beer down there and, you know, another 50 cases of beer. Hansford says they quickly rushed to get the business reopened five days later. Then last Thursday, floodwaters seeped in again. Well over a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of damage. Well over a couple hundred thousand. That includes infrastructure, electricity, plumbing, and other damages that may not be immediately noticeable to patrons that walk in. Right now, all we've done really is try to keep running for the employee's sake, for the customer's sake, so that we can stay in business. Because I need I need the public to come back in here and start spending money for the employees and myself. And we need the support of the community right now. The last flood event he experienced here at Trainwreck Saloon was in 2008, when the floodwaters rose past the basement and more than two feet above the restaurant floor. But it's the most recent consistency of flooding that he says makes it harder to plan ahead. Well, it comes so fast, there's no way you can. I mean, I have pumps and they couldn't keep up with it. They, all they were doing was pumping it back outside. The water table's that high from all the rain. It just comes right through the foundation. There's really no way to, to, to alleviate it. He hopes residents can continue to support local businesses as these flood events occur and hopes for a long-term solution in repairing floodwaters along Deer Creek. In Rock Hill, Gabriella Vidal, News 4.